Hello friends, trust you're all safe and well, stay home, stay safe, while you're at home, you'll also get some time to look at uh, various videos on YouTube I guess and hopefully we are able to give you something worth your time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Indian Otter or the Smooth Coated Otter. The smooth coated otter is a species endemic to the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Known scientifically as Lutrogale persipicillata, there are three subspecies LP persipicillata, which occurs in most of India and Nepal, the southwestern Yunnan, and most of Southeast Asia, Sumatra, and Java. The LP syndica, which occurs in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunwa, Punjab and Sindh provinces. And the LP Maxwelli, which occurs in Iraq. The smooth coated otter derives its name from its short and sleek fur, which is dark to reddish brown along the back, but light brown to almost grey on the underside. It's distinguished from the other otter species by its more rounded head and a hairless nose in the shape of a distorted diamond. Its tail is flattened in contrast to the more rounded tails of the other otters. The legs are short and strong with large webbed feet bearing strong claws. The smooth coated otter occurs in areas where fresh water is plentiful such as wetlands, seasonal swamps, rivers, lakes and rice paddies. Where it is the only occurring otter species, it lives in almost any suitable habitat. However, where it is sympatric with other otter species, it avoids smaller streams and canals in favour of larger water bodies. It has often, often been recorded in salt water near the coast, especially on smaller islands, but requires a nearby source of fresh water. These otters live in groups of up to 11 individuals, they usually rest on sandy riverbanks and establish their dens under tree roots or among boulders. Observations in peninsular Malaysia indicate that they are active foremost during the day, with a short rest during the midday. They mark their playground by urinating and sprinting. Sprinting essentially means that they poop on specific rocks or vegetation. Smooth coated otters forage on riverbanks among tree trunks, feeding mainly on fish like gurami and catfish. During the rice planting season, however, they also hunt rats in the rice fields. Snakes, amphibians and insects also constitute a small portion of their diet. When food supply is sufficient or plentiful, they breed throughout the year. But where they are dependent on the monsoon precipitation, they breed only between October and February. The pups are born after a gestation period of 60 to 63 days with a usual litter size of up to 5 pups. The mothers give birth to and raise their young in a burrow near the water. They either construct such burrows themselves or they take over an abandoned burrow. At birth, the pups are blind and helpless. However, their eyes open after 10 days and they are weaned at about 3 to 5 months. And they reach the size of adults after about a year and sexual maturity occurs after three years. The smooth coated otter is threatened by poaching, loss and destruction of wetlands as these are converted for settlements, agriculture and hydroelectric projects. Water courses are being polluted by pesticides such as chlorinated hydrocarbons and organophosphates. 
these factors lead to a reduced prey base. Also, the otters are indiscriminately killed, especially at aquaculture sites, since they feed on the produce. <coughs> Trapping of otters is also prevalent in India, Nepal, and Bangladesh. The International Council for Animal Conservation has classified otters as being vulnerable, and it's in our hands to ensure that we take care of them because presence of waters in our water bodies essentially indicates a healthy ecosystem which in turn is good for each and every one of us. Trust you had a good time listening to me and going through these images. I hope these gave you as much pleasure as they did when we were watching their antics live. Hopefully soon we'll be back with another set of images and a different set of a different animal with which we hope to be able to educate you and entertain you at the same time. Thank you for your time. Stay home, stay safe and let's beat this COVID-19 together. Jai Hind.